On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, using the stage display in ProPresenter 6. Welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you use some of the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your question, so just do that below the video. You can also head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact if you prefer to leave your information some other way. So. One of the great things that ProPresenter has is the stage display. So I thought that we would take a look at some of the improvements that they've made in ProPresenter 6 and see some fun ways that we can use those. So let's head over to my computer now. In previous versions of ProPresenter, the stage display would display lyrics. So let's go down here. Let's say something like this, but the moment that you wanted to see a background, that wouldn't show up on the stage display here. Let me pause that. Or um, if you wanted to show a foreground video, well, that one's not linked, but it, let's just pretend this was a foreground video. That wouldn't show up on the stage display either. So that was a bit of a problem. Now, ProPresenter did let you display images, um, so if you had a still, you could take, uh, you could show just a still version of a video, but really it wasn't all that useful uh, of a feature. So with ProPresenter 6, they fixed that. So let's go here into the preferences and let me show you a couple of really cool things that they've added here so uh first we click on display then so if we click on configure stage display you'll notice um, that i have a stage display here i have well, this is the configuration option, so you know I can uh, add countdowns, add a video countdown, add a clock, the next si slide, the current slide, etc. And you can see that I can have multiple versions. But let's l dive into some of these uh, things because, well, we've got current slide, we've got current slide notes, that's not new. Uh, we can tweak and everything like this. This is new, live slide. So static slide would show you here. Um, let me actually go over and let's put something on that. So. Okay, so static slide really doesn't help you out a lot so we've got text only which only shows the text and it will format it based on these rules here Live slide shows you basically the same thing that's over here, over here. This is just the preview, so it doesn't show it. I'll show it to you here a little bit later. Um, and static slide will take like a, a screenshot kind of thing. So if I click back on this, this is a representation. So while I have a moving background over here, this is exactly the, just a smaller version of this moving background, uh, of this slide without the moving background, okay? So what I like to do is I like to use text only for the next slide so that we've got plenty of room to see. 
and then for the statics, uh, then use live slide for the main view. Now, let's say you're in a regular church and you don't have the largest um, stage display in the world. You know, this is pretty small. So text that's this same size. So let's go back to static slide to show you the difference. So if the display was too small, this might not be helpful whatsoever. No problem we'd uh, do like text only in that kind of configuration. But remember that we can have more than one um, format to the stage display. So actually, if I was going to do that, what I would do is I'd have this for uh, the worship band, although I might make the current slide larger and the next slide smaller, but you get the general gist. So I might have this for worship. It's 10 I might have a kind of a default view that I could go to that shows basically the exact same thing that's on the main uh, display. So I'd probably change that to live slide instead of um, static slide. So. I'd probably have one of those, and then I would have a pastor's view, which might have kind of the next thing up, and instead of text view, I think I would probably do live slide, and format this so that maybe I'd put um, the next slide pretty large, but farther down so that the pastor could see what was up next. Here, we can put all this other information up here, right? So the pastor would see what was up next, but if there was video playing, the pastor could watch the video. So that's a pretty cool thing. Love having a message there, so that if you need to have a message for the pastor, you can do that. Clock is always helpful, um, especially when you set things up where it's visible. So you could do something like this, and that would be a great view for the pastor. But wouldn't it be great if you could have this switch based on element? Well, you can in ProPresenter 6. So let's say this is clearly worship. Um, so we can right-click here and... Um, do add queue and then stage display light layout so I can do the music stage display. Then for this, if this was still working, I might change that. This is sermon notes, so I'm gonna right click and add the temp, sorry, add queue stage display layout and I will go to the pastor for that one. So I could have every time I switch to a different element in the service, it changes layout, but I could also have that every time I change to a different slide. Now, this is probably overkill most of the time, but you could imagine a situation where you've got an element that's kind of combined doing a couple of different things and it might need to be a video during this portion and then go back to the stage display during this portion or vice versa. So that's something that's really cool. Once again, I've mentioned this uh, before in some of the videos, but I want to again talk about this screen right now. So for enable stage display, because right now my stage display is not on, I've just turned it on, but you can't see it. And the reason is because this is on my left-hand monitor and we're recording the center one here. So I'm gonna disable this real, real quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this over and then you'll be able to see the stage display 
as I have it enabled when I click enable stage display. So let me do that. So you see there, you can't see everything, but you can see that um, you actually have a live view here. So this is the one that I just set up. Obviously this could be a different version here. Let's uh, go ahead and we'll switch on over to, let's see, I think, yeah, this is the worship layout right here. So now I can um, enable this stage display again, which right there. So you see how I've changed that. So I go back one slide and that cue changed automatically. That's the way it was. Go forward a slide and it changes to this layout. And you can just use that to your heart's content to change between these layouts. It's not perfect and seamless, but then again, this is designed for the people that are on stage. This isn't designed for the the main auditorium to see. So that's something that's pretty cool. By the way, love the video countdown feature. If like me, you're uh, in a situation where people are looking at what's going on in your church and there are producers that are asking how much time is left on the video and everything, that's a nifty little feature to set up as well. So we'll go ahead and get out of this and we're back to the way that we started. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, the stage display really provides a lot of information and with ProPresenter 6, it's just better than ever. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can pick up a copy of my email newsletter for free, along with some church tech gifts, hence the reason it's slash gifts, that uh, you might find useful for your church. If you like that stuff as well as this stuff, then you'll probably really love some of the resources that I've created for you at my store. So head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store and pick up one of those uh, resources and check back from time to time because I'm always adding new things in there. Um, there's actually been a little bit of a drought, so I'm expecting to add some more stuff in pretty quickly. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.